Well, let's go on now to the use of the accent powders on the gourd. And uh, we have some great colors. Presently, I carry 21 of those colors. And we're going to use the black Stampin' Stick. And let's go... Well, I should probably consider that these next two will look nice with the leafing. So how about if we go into the inner circles here and show you how the powder, the accent powders will look so cool in here. And we could use different colors if you'd like to see how they work. Again, try to keep the uh, consistency just enough to cover the area. We don't want a lot of glue sitting. You can use this just like a paint. And it's so slick and so effective. Actually, if I use the accent powder in this area and keep these areas with the leafing, it would be a very nice complement to each other and then you could do whatever you want in the remaining areas because this is a really fun design. Okay, again let's just quickly heat set it. Activate it actually with the heat. Drying it is almost complete. Keep in mind that this product is meant for every surface and each surface will give you a slightly different drying time depending on how dense, um, like say versus glass to paper, there's probably going to be a little bit more needed time with the glass than the paper, so keep that in mind. It does a beautiful job on metal which is very quick to heat. So now I'm going to take a touch of of uh, spring green powder and I'm just going to touch and dab over that glue. Is that ever incredible? Now at this time don't touch it to clean it yet. We want to make sure that it's in the place that you want it plus the fact that if there is different color we're going to use here I'm going to wipe this off on my brush, uh, my brush on my hand or a tissue. And as you can see, there's absolutely no residue. I can freely dip into another color. This is Aztec Gold. And, you know, this, let's do the um, Reflex Violet on this side. Notice I'm not trying to clean off any of the excess powder, only on the brush, and that isn't always entirely necessary, but at this time I am going to do do that, and then how about if we dip into copper and just pat it right on. Okay, now I'm quite happy with the choice of color. Tap off a little bit as as I just did, now with a dry tissue, just wipe over the area and it is now clean of any excess powder. And isn't that just lovely and how quick and easy and immediate you have results from using this wonderful stamp and stick glue by Stuart Superior. Now available, MariasArtCreations.com. Thank you.